Ikke noget, men det bliver helt nærmest slået. Fuldkommen, tror jeg. Det er bare stiger på. I am Charlie Watts. I am the drummer. I am Brian Jones, a guitarist and harmonica player. Keith Richards, guitar. Mick Jagger, I sing. Yes. Songs. Bill Wyman, I play bass. Guitar. Mm. Now we have inter <laughs> we've uh, asked some teenagers to sit in these chairs before you came here before, because you were a bit late and they, uh, <laughs> we asked them what would you like? What would you like to ask the Rolling Stones if you spoke English? And uh, they came with a couple of questions, some polite and some unpolite. Indeed. Could I give them on to you? Yes. yes. Okay. First of all, um, which group besides yourself do you like best? An English group. <coughs> all together, whole world. It's difficult because English groups are different to the rest because they play and sing as well. We like lots of American groups. Yeah, I think of groups not similar to you because there are none, I think. But uh, <laughs> I think, <coughs> uh, let me see, do we like groups? Drifters? Holland. We like the well, Drifters. We like mainly American artists, ma mainly American colored artists, but uh, as far as British groups are concerned, I suppose there's not very many. We do. Like, like, like the Beatles, Beatles obviously. Okay. You know. yes. Suzanne? Yeah, you was about mom. What then do you. Altså, var sammen med, når de var sammen med Vile, så når de kom godt ud af det sammen. Altså. Oh, yeah. yeah we know How do you get along well. together? Very well. Oh. We see them a lot in clubs, in, club, in nightclubs. Mm -hmm. We're both in London, uh, and we're not working. We go to the same nightclub in London, and uh, we often meet. Those lights are strong. YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 in the YMCA. <laughs> Så vi spørger, om de bryder sig om alle pigerne, der skræk og hyde, og det er hysterisk og alt. Jeg vil gerne spørge, om de synes nu, at vi er en idiot, der rent ud af dig, faktisk, fordi vi står og render efter hovedet. Og så vil jeg også spørge, om de, hvad de synes om, når man står og skræk og sådan noget. Altså, det er faktisk ikke mere... Hvad håber du, de vil svare på det med skrigeriet? Ja, jeg håber faktisk, at de vil svare, at det ikke er noget sådan særligt. Det tror jeg faktisk, at de vil sige, at det bruger de sig ikke så meget om. Shut up! <laughs> Wonderful. Um, it, it is an accepted form of uh, appreciation. Instead of clapping, they scream. Hmm. And they scream everywhere, so it doesn't... It yeah. means, Did you hear that? Yeah. You know, it's just we, th we think, well, they, they like us, that's all we feel. Doesn't it disturb? Because it is, it is rhythm and blues, it's a sort of jazz, still it's... Doesn't it disturb the number? No, no. I don't think the number minds. I think the most important thing to us is when we go on stage is that we succeed in communicating with an audience. And the only way we can do this is to produce a, an exciting atmosphere. Therefore, if the kids scream, we love it. You know, we react to their reaction. <laughs> oh, I know. If you guys scream, some nights it's pretty The louder they scream, you scream. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's right. That's it. Look, talking. Is there anything to be played at you? She is wondering whether she should buy your records. How long are you going to stay on the top of the hit lists? Well, she, <laughs> I don't know. She buys the records. She buys yeah. the records. It's going to help us stay there. You know. If she doesn't buy the records, we won't be there. We've been we've been uh, making uh, top twenty records in England for two years now. Mm. Are you altering your style? Why? Well, in two years, we we, we uh, obviously we'll alter our styles. We, we're, we're two years older than when we started off, so we obviously have uh, developed in some way. Are you afraid, if you change your style, um, to lose some of your fans? We won't, it, we Did won't change our style, so just to one day to another, we, you know, one day we decide we're going to do something different. It doesn't happen like that. I don't gradually. think we're changing our style so much as we're broadening our scope. I think we're, we're uh, 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 you know. <laughs> No, we're we're sort of uh, developing in lots of different directions musically. I think you know, that's a good sleep. Now. Then there was a boy asking, <laughs> asking that's a serious true. question. In fact, uh, how long did it take you to learn to play? Where did you learn it? I could start from one end of. Where did you learn it? How long did you play before you came to the, before you became a Rolling Stone? Mm. How long were you? <laughs> I don't know, but. That took me out. Two years. Eighteen months, right? 
I can't thought. really remember actually because I, I started in dribs and drabs, which mm. in English means dribs and dribs, just outside of Doncaster. Oh, dribs and thank you. <laughs> and I started Translate in the bedroom, that. just messing about on an old banjo, which Brian will tell you about later. And going on to you. Well, uh, I don't like to tell you about my musical education because the others all laugh at me, so pass on to Keith. Oh, no, do. No, I just, uh, I used to know. learn uh, piano and clarinet. I used to play clarinet. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> thank you. And uh, I lost interest in the clarinet because uh, I became very sort of involved in musical studies and I, I lost a lot of interest because I, I think I was getting in a rut, I was getting too involved. And uh, I started to play the guitar and sort of uh, um, gave me sort of a new, a new feel musically. And uh, I became interested in uh, jazz and rhythm and blues eventually. And uh, sort of gradually worked around playing with the Rolling Stones. Shut up. <laughs> I see you have certain difficulties with your friends passing no, out to you. No, no, they're, they're all right, you know. I, I never played with anybody before. I never played with anybody I before. I played with the Rolling Stones. No, I, I, I learned guitar about three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was caught up Got in, up in, the in, the, in the Rolling Stones. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. that's and that, that's all, you know, I never played with anybody before. I'm not sure. You just that. play by heart, you? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> my soul. Soul. You feed my soul. Well, Teddy. <laughs> Next. <laughs> well, I can't do anything. I can't play anything. I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, but still, so you must learn to sing yeah, somewhere, no, or rehearse in the bathroom, or something. You don't learn to sing. You just open your mouth, yeah, and the horrible noises come out. And that's and what's going to happen. That's what, happens. That's what still happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Bill. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, give him a chance, please. You shouldn't ask these questions. Everyone sends somebody else up. No one wants to say anything. I just messed about the guitar at home about three years ago, three and a half years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually formed a group. And they wanted the bass player, so I had to play bass because nobody else did, you know. And <laughs> Why do you play bass? Nobody else did. Yeah, because yeah. there's more guitarists and less bass players. Yeah, we'll spare them. Um, um, they sell for some of the slags music. They sell spiller. Ja, men om de selv er tilhængere pop eller sådan. Do you listen to music of the same type as your own, or what do you listen yeah, to? But yeah, it's nearly all the same type. I mean, it, perhaps a wider field, you know, but it's really it's not a very different type. It's no. really always the same. The coloured artists of America, yeah, you yeah. said. Generally speaking, yes. The marches. Have you put money aside? Till the day you stand in the street. We're saving money for a rainy day, yes. We're not going to stand in the street, but we've also got money. Can I sit in my Cadillac? <laughs> no, You're going to sell your Cadillac? No, I sit in the Cadillac in the street. <laughs> yes, but still, are you thinking yeah. of the future? Um, mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. The, the, money is, the money is well looked. Ooh, filled away! We don't spend much. <laughs> I don't think. Well, welcome to the Scandinavian Thank countries. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Charlie's been here before. Yes, yes I know. You were in uh, Rana's, was it? Return yeah. visit. Yes. Yes, sir. I stand accused of that. Did you learn anything about Danes or anything you want to remember? Yes. <laughs> I found that the people. Do you want to listen or do you want me to tell you? Yes. Oh, I thought the Danish people were very nice. Really? Oh, Why? Sure? I don't know. I thought yeah. they were very nice. Yeah. Just when I came before, I was just a worker.